Terrible. We got to adjust everything. Let's play a move. So my opponent doesn't leave. Let's do all the things. Hello, welcome to another Go video. I should say that sometimes. Let's also say hello to my opponent by clicking on that. And then we got to go there. There you go. All right, we got coordinates. That's a decent enough looking board. Let's play some Go. We'll even mirror our opponent here. High approach. Sounds fine. Let's just play for territory, and we're just playing on the Tidrim server today, nothing fancy. Just going to play some maybe blue collar go. I don't know. I don't have a theme or, or a name for this, for what I'm trying to achieve in this game yet. Do I want to approach or do I want to poke at this? I mean, I want to do both, but let's let's ask here first and then we'll come back we'll probably just if he if any response is given we'll tanuki over here except for that one we're not going to tanuki that one so we'll play this way and we'll play this way and i think he should attach here but okay game on here we go <laughs> we're playing some go now uh-huh okay when do i take this do i take this now I just fix. I feel like fixing is pretty good. Because <laughs> I think if he descends, it leaves a co. Let's just fix. I think he should have poked through before fixing. I think that was a mistake for black. Uh, let me make sure. Is this this is really co, right? It's like a 10,000 year old co, and he's going to tanuki it, as is his right. Um, though he should. Well, I don't know what he should. I don't know if he should finish this. Like this is this is such a weird co situation. Um, so we'll just play go. We'll worry about that later. Hmm. This is all very low. I can't play there. That's asking for too much, right? Let's just play over there. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. We can start a little bit of a fight. I don't really want to play this because it's going to block off a wall and then take initiative there. I think this is very reasonable. Oh my gosh. What violence. We're just going to throw the whole, the whole side of the board into chaos. All right. So, now do we come in here? <laughs> do we run out? Who knows the answer? I don't know the answer. It feels, it doesn't feel bad to jump. So I don't get to play here. I can even play this first. That's interesting. All right, let's still play here. You just sort of take the outside, keep the territory small. I have no points in this game. Black has all the territory. Uh, that's a little obnoxious, Black, but we'll respond. Still leave some good corner, Aji. Okay, so he's gonna fix that. Uh, so this is a pretty potent move. This is also a very dangerous move. This one better. I do have a little bit of a shape problem here. I, I kind of want to lean here and poke here, but it still leaves this peep, so it doesn't actually feel like it helps. <laughs> here? These are both good. Here? This is not as potent. But this is better, right? Because then he... Let's just play it. Ugh. Ugh. Play this one first. Yeah. 
Yep, okay, there are some pokes. Also pokes. Another poke. Okay. This was kind of like, I, I, I kind of just wanted to struggle and give me a whole bunch of strength over here. Um, this doesn't quite work. Hmm. How's this ask? Oh, but he has this move, right? Hmm. All right, well, we made him live. <laughs> and we can capture those two in Gote, which is not very exciting. Um, this is nice. This is also nice. I don't know which one. Probably this one was better since I have a cut I sort of need to worry about. This cut is, is my uh, biggest weakness right now on this whole board. Other than the fact that I don't have points. I guess that's a weakness, too. Not having points, also a weakness. Oh, wow. That's exciting. What are you going to do over here? Let's just cap it. If he runs back to this group, that's not bad for me. It's the amazing part. I just play here. <laughs> or is this this is just better? I don't I don't really want to take these as points, so I think this one's better. So get out of here, black. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This is gonna be exciting. I just push up all the way through this. Is that is that what happens? Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, we're just going. Oh, this is that's not really a move, but this is this is. Is this a move? This is totally a move. I'm sad I wouldn't have gotten to play this one first, though, because that'll give him this endgame. Um, but I guess the endgame doesn't really matter much when I'm out. So let's play this little shoulder hit. Let's shoulder hit the black strong group. And again, I can still play this in... Like I, I get counterattacked really easily, so I can't I can't take this until I'm stronger. Uh, certainly not until this cut area has some sort of support. Oh, really gonna try? Oh, I have to sneeze. Sneezing while playing Go is not good. <laughs> okay, all right, <laughs> all better now. Uh, sure. Let's take an Atari. We got some nice weak points over here to aim at. Um, of course, this, eh, let's just, let's just kind of poke at whatever shape we got. Hmm. Am I ready to counterattack? No, really not ready to get counterattacked. <laughs> like I need a I need a stone here and a stone here, right? If I take this one, my my opponent immediately takes the other one. Oh, that looks good, but is it good? I'm not so sure because I can still invade right here. So what if we just encircle it? The same same thing we did on this side. We just encircled black. What happens? Oh, he's going to take that point right away. That's fine. That's fine. We are okay with this. Can I kill? <laughs> Looks dubious to kill. 
Mm. It certainly feels like I should play one move in here. Because this is all going to get attacked pretty, pretty severely. So let's lean. A problem, well, I don't know, this creates a lot of problems for him too, so... This is... okay. Are we gonna do it this way? Can... can he afford to do it this way? I have this counter cut now. If he tries any funny business. Okay. <laughs> no funny business. Alright, this is a shape move, but it doesn't... I guess... It, I don't really want to give up another stone, but I just might, so I have no problems. This cut feels very large, but I want to play here. Hmm. What do you think, gang? I'm just giving my opponent so much, so much of these little territories. We're just giving, giving points away. I think we just play there. We'll just fix it all. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, this is probably too defensive. I should probably play over here. Yeah, most definitely. So I still want to. I can still pressure this. Oh yeah, he's defending now. That's a shame. That is a shame. We didn't get everything we wanted, guys. Total fail. Oh, it's actually also hard for me to fix this shape. Because this peep. All right. Um, let's make this exchange. Again, I have this kind of funky move right here. That's pretty cool. Hmm? 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 Oh, can he? I don't know. All right, we need to think about that on his turn, on his time. What if I just play in here? If I can actually get strength in here, I can go back to thinking about peeping. Mm hmm. But we're gonna play this way. And this way. Hmm. Are you gonna let him come through? Seems fine. This one first, right? And... oh. Oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> I cannot play this way. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe. Not clear. Let's let's <laughs> game on. <laughs> Is this good timing? I think so. All right. This is all gonna be forced. And cut. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's fun. Um. I, I don't need to throw in right now. In fact, it's very dangerous for me to throw in right now. So let's just play there and pull back in Sente. And it looks like it's just a straight up capturing race. Oh, he has to move out here. Yeah, yeah. He has to run this right now. Does he have any other choices? Because now this peep is amazing. <laughs> this, this is just devil. Yeah. 
Yeah, he should take some time here. He's got four minutes. Oh, okay, we're not taking time. Yeah, but he's going to run this out. And I can respond once here. The net is still good for him. So he can extend. He's not going to. Again, a little bit dangerous for me, but I think we're okay. Nice take away the base on this side. Oh, crap. That was a misclick. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> At least I have Mii now to live, but that was, oh god. <laughs> that was no god. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's take this Atari now. I have this ladder. Oh. Cool. Yep, that was no god. Oh, this, 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 this was feeling so, so great for me. I, I didn't quite uh, smile enough. And <laughs> we just kind of let black back into it. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's gonna take that and sente. That's fine. Okay. You can have that. I'm still gonna live, and then I'm gonna kill you. I play it now. Oh, now that's Sente, though, but... Uh, still real. Let's just lift. Okay. <laughs> Black has Black has the problems. But I want you to imagine a board where it's the, where White has a stone there instead. That doesn't help you. What? Oh, it does. It does help him. Yeah, he can... I can now... I much have a much harder time making him not have two eyes. All because that was such a misclick. That was... That was... Ugh. So painful. So painful. All right, dude, you gotta fix your corner, which means I can just kill everything in the center and then think about poking this. I might be able, I, he might be able to counterattack a little bit over here. So, oh, is he gonna start the counterattack right now? Dun, 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 dun. Carpenter Square? Is that the the life and death status at the moment? You don't you don't want your corner? Hmm? Hmm? I'm confused as to the move order that he thinks this Over is gonna to happen. Um alright, let's just play there. That seems fun. I should pro like uh just connect. I just play here, right? <laughs> Is there, what am I missing? Uh huh. Okay. Like he can cut these three stones off. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this this way. That's fine. Uh huh. Uh huh. What am I missing though? Like yeah, this was gonna he was gonna connect and this just turns into a carpenter square. Okay, now we're gonna cut that that's reasonable. I probably have to give these up, but that's Oh, do I have to give them up? Oh I definitely should give them up. I can give those two up instead. Can I attack this? Uh Nah. I I don't need to give this up. I I, I don't care enough about this. Ooh, but that way. Oh no, we're game. We're this is game on. Mm, that's that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's a problem. That is a problem. Do, do, do. I don't. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give those up. <laughs> Is the current plan. Is it the, still the plan, though? It might not be the plan anymore. 
Um, can I play here and falsify this eye ever? I think so, if I play this one. It seems real dumb, though. Like, this is really bad shape, and I really need to take away the liberty on this little Tetris piece. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So that is what we call a good move. Uh, let's play there and just fix that. Oh? Oh. Mm-hmm. This was a mistake. This was all dumb. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four. Can I play here? Not in good faith, right? This doesn't do much. So let's just play there. Preserve our liberties. Okay. Now you fix... I still want to play this one, but... At this point, I just kind of need to not die. <laughs> Is this good? I don't know. Let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. hmm, we're a little sad. We're only this is still like he's he, uh, using this Aji. It looks like he can kill something over here. So we lost that one. Oh, there's still this co weird co thing in the corner, though, right? Let's put it here. This just lives easily. I should have made this co shape. Thing. All right, here, let's actually read it out. He's thinking, oh, God. Oh, yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> this is bad. We did not get all the stuff we needed to get done. Does he have time to cut in any place, though? Okay. Well, that simplifies the reading. Uh, I don't want to take this first. I probably do. And then just here, right? And what can he do? What can he do? One, two. I have three liberties. He has two liberties. All right. No, oh. but no, this, he doesn't gain any liberties, right? This is just nothing. Looks like nothing. Okay. See, it's good that we didn't fill in that liberty. Really good. Really good. Do, do. This doesn't change anything. So just connect. Just connect. We kill this whole quarter of the board. <laughs> Huh? Oh, he's gonna try to... I don't know what that... It's just points, right? This doesn't... We have bigger points to play. Oh. Oh, maybe I can't play that. Whoops. Yeah, I can't play that. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Guys, you're supposed to keep me from damaging myself. Uh, can he make two eyes? If he captures that. I mean, it looks real easy. <laughs> so, it looks real easy. I think we gotta play this way. Overtime countdown has begun. Bump, 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 bump. Looks like everybody has enough liberties. Looks like we're fine. Okay. Oh, but can he connect? That would be dirty. That would be very dirty. Do, do. Hmm. Looks like he can connect under now. Crap. <laughs> Oh, maybe not, because I can because I still have two liberties and he can't approach. Alright. So let's think about this. He Atari's I take. And he can't approach. And he can't live. Okay. I think we did this okay. Not 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 you know, we're not proud, but we didn't die. And that's that's what's this is all really about. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. So, what about this corner? This is the exciting corner. It was this. I don't want to deal with this stuff. Where, where? Okay. So all I have to do is play here. Okay. Good talk. Where is it? Oh, there is peeping. Yeah, that's... That seems fine. <laughs> or at least his right. Oh, does that change anything? Does not look like it. Let's actually save these two and threatens a big end game. Although, so, oh, he left the room? Oh, he resigned. But it didn't give me a winning thing. Why have I not won this game yet? What's going on? <laughs> It didn't, it didn't, it didn't go, it didn't, it didn't do the little happy music. All right, so that game was pretty, it was nice. It was, it was nice. It was a really good example of how you don't need to worry about points in the, in the early game, right? You can always just attack stuff later. Uh, definitely points schmoints. We don't need, we don't need early game points to win. Uh, I'm going to throw this into a robot and uh, using some time travel powers. Uh, I'll do a quick review and then I'll show you some cool parts in five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. All right, so a couple, a couple of really interesting little parts in this game that are totally worth going over. And the, I, I actually, I, th I think there's like four. Is it four? I don't know. There's like four really discrete lessons. I think that almost any any Q or even low down player can learn from this game. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's show you a few a few cool concepts in Go. And um, the beginning here, this game is actually quite nice. Um, we don't have the score. I'll, I'll, I'll save the, uh, the scoring graph up here until the end to show you, um, to show you what kind of game it was, but I think you, you'll probably get a feeling for it <laughs> based on what you saw and, uh, you know, how this less, this little review goes. Uh, robot doesn't, and robot's not in love with this move, no surprise. Um, it's just sort of an awkward distance, but it's a very human move, right? Threatening to undercut your opponent's base he's trying to settle. Uh, here... Uh, indeed, like I thought, the robot definitely prefers this attachment uh, to this one, but not, you know, it's a definite preference, but not huge. Uh, here, the robot actually prefers this variation. Oh, I don't want the variation um, to show up. Um, it just keeps it simple. It does end up making this stone look kind of dumb um, when you play out this, the rest of this variation, but 
it's fine for both sides. It's, it's, it's not that inefficient because um, white still undercuts the white base and, not, and white ends up being very strong. Whoa, no, no, I, ah, no, I want to, uh, there we go. <laughs> um, anyway, here, yeah, the robot was definitely upset at black for not either haneing here or, or taking this cut. Um, definitely a missed opportunity. And to here, robot says play high, which actually isn't that surprising because if I play low, it gives black a nice opportunity to fix the shape with a move like this or even like this. And uh, the fact that my opponent dug in here, it's a slight minus, but again, these aren't, these aren't major lessons that um, these almost come down to elements of style. Um, but certainly you don't really want to make, you know, three space low, low extensions just in the opening. Um, I think up until around this point, the game is pretty even. Um, white, white is basically a point or two ahead for the most part. Um, there was one moment where black had a lead in the entire game. <laughs> and uh, I think that was back here when I, when I played this move. Um, the robot actually gave black just the smallest of leads. And then, and then all these little moves, not basically not taking advantage of this cut, not uh, really reaching out to this stone in a meaningful way. <clears throat> White just gets a few points advantage in each of these little exchanges. All right, so here my move. This is this is robot's number one favorite move: make a base and counterattack. Very nice. Um, but here, here, this is, um, you know, I, I didn't think about it enough. <laughs> my move is poor. Uh, my move in the game was just to attach and just take central thickness, and. I'm not unhappy with that because Black's prospects are so small. Like, Black is going to expect something in this corner. Maybe you can get something small here. This corner is still up for debate, but we can give Black a few points. And Black should definitely get something here, but it's not very large. And so, if that, that's all of Black's points, we're looking at a maximum, like, being really optimistic of a score of, like, 45. <laughs> Giving 20 here, you know, 10 here maybe seven or eight here and seven or eight here. Is that up to 45? No, that doesn't even add up to 45, right? No, it does add up to 45. Yeah, 20, 30, 45, okay. Um, so that's that's the entirety of Black's points. You can be looking at this board and go, well, where are White's points? White only has one corner, that's maybe 10 points. And so White needs to find, you know, essentially 30 points on this board because uh, of Comey. And that's not hard to do when you have the outside. And so when I just took the outside like this, even though I'm really not getting much in terms of points, I feel very comfortable. Like, like black is not threatening anything large, and so I feel like I, I, have, I have the initiative, strangely. I guess that's not that strange. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is poor. What white should have done, instead of playing this move, is just to jump out here. And again, I don't really want to see all the computer variations. Uh, and this is, this is like a very classic old-school Q move, like... You'd totally expect this in a Q game. And uh, it's just sort of like a running fight sequence. Uh, black can try to connect underneath. Um, but at this point, white has the choice now. I can I can basically play the same kind of variation where I take I, I let black sort of live along here and take strength on the outside. Or more likely in this case, I'll actually cut and you know create more of a fight, more more chaos. And that chaos is fine for me. Again, black has really no fourth line stones to help. Um, this is the closest one, and it's somewhat neutralized by my white stone. Yes, black has this little bit of thickness on the other side of the board, but it's not guaranteed life, and meanwhile I have even stronger thickness. So, um, just inviting more of a running fight here is, is to white's advantage, and I should be welcoming it, instead of just this subtle variation, which is a little bit sad. Um, here, the robot liked my move here very much, just uniting the whole right-hand side. And, again, Robot's not a fan of this. <laughs> um, Robot wanted to sort of peek at this more meaningfully. Um, but after these exchanges, again, Robot preferred this side. And this is, makes Black life a little bit more difficult. Like, white, Black actually has to do more squirming here. Um, they both have a very similar effect. It's just that this side... And this was my intuition. Um, but after just reading this out, I was like, I bet I, bet I get more this way. And that was just too greedy. Um, this is actually a good exchange for black. Sli I mean, slight, slightly good. It, it's still a good game for white at this point on the board. Um, after black takes this peep and pushes through here, black should really try to find a more violent cut. And like maybe even here. 
Um, black does none of these things. This is all great for white. <laughs> and when black blocks and comes back here, this is actually quite a sad black group. <laughs> you can just see, even though white still has a cut here and here to worry about, this is just a very nice outside group for white. And again, black has three to four points of profit. And, and actually with one, one move, white, white can match it <laughs> just by capturing these two. So uh, good result for white. Um, in here, this move, computer doesn't hate it, but it does prefer the conventional move, which I certainly thought about and I just rejected because I wanted to feel more creative or do something, um, is here. And it's just normal, right? Just totally normal. Just attack directly. And then after black sort of squirms in here for a while, I'll have more thickness, I'll have more thickness, I'll have more thickness, and then I can actually launch an attack on this left-hand group. The thing that the robot is most pissed off about this, this whole game is how I never really got a good attack against this group. And you're going to see that over and over and over again. It just feels like we're ignoring it for too long, playing too many other small moves. And so... Uh, you know, when you have a strong group, and especially when I invested this stone early on, right, to attack it in the early, early opening, and I never really capitulated on it, never really made good on it, um, you can feel like that's a, that's something, is, something has gone awry. So anyway, I, uh, I attack this way, which, again, the computer doesn't hate, but this is just a stronger, more simple attack. Um, instead of attaching here, though, the computer's idea is to, of course, play in here because that's what computers do. And this this just makes black feel a little queasy, right? <laughs> like, this is very alarming. <laughs> and black can kill the three stone. The three stone right now is not guaranteed life. But if black invests a lot of resources in doing it, oh man, there's going to be mischief um, along the sides. And white can still get a good end game because white can still play this in Sente, get a Sente move over here or two, and actually really come after these two. So this is this is very much a probe kind of move. Like, Black, are you going to really come after this? Or are you going to, you know, try to, you know, come out here and not let me get all these Sente moves, but in the meantime, leave some real dangerous things <laughs> in your corner later? It's a, it's a hard it's a hard situation for what for Black to be in to know what to do. All right, so anyway, this move, again, computer doesn't hate it, hate it, but it's it's a pretty big point loss. Uh, and here, the computer does not, well, first of all, um, computer's not in love with black either. Let's put, it there, let's put that out there. And again, the computer doesn't like this move because the response for white is to play here. And it thinks black doesn't have time to connect. And of course, that's what black does in the game for the reasons that happen subsequently. But here is where I, I took my foot off the gas pedal is very much should take this cut right away. Um, it just really forced Black to capture this, but of course there's more free stuff to be had. And for that matter, um, we're still preparing this thickness here for attack over here, so that's still all, all in play. And I can falsify this eye right here. So even though Black has captured a stone, it actually hasn't guaranteed an eye. And so all this thickness is still looming large. This is a very, very nice position for white. Like, I hope you can feel that this is a very nice position uh, to be in. So in here, this is just soft. This is sort of missing the mark a little bit. Um, this is all fine. But now, at this moment, I play this move, which actually, actually, I, it, it's not, it's, it's like the computer's like number two or three choice. It's really not that bad of a move. But, oh man, the computer just wants to start undercutting this. Just upseat this, get it to run out a little bit, and then we can sort of have a fair fight running into the center where this wall and this wall start to feel real large. And I don't know, maybe we start a practice for attacking, for knowing when to, to play those striking moves to force my opponent to run. Too much prep, prepar uh, preparatory work here. Um, and even here, computer for the longest time still wants white to make this exchange. Uh, this, this is still very cramped for black. Like it doesn't, doesn't feel good, <laughs> um, especially if Black's going to respond there. So again, not in love with this move, but it doesn't feel terrible either. <laughs> uh, computer, not, not in love with this move at all, <laughs> but the move it really hates. My biggest, minus, um, minus my misclick, the biggest mistake I made in the entire game is coming up. 
Um, this is also a very large mistake for black. Uh, the computer is absolutely, if you're going to fix anything over here, you need to preserve this cut. Like, you need to, to threaten something. And this move just doesn't threaten anything. It just, it just completely kills the invasion Aji. But it doesn't even prevent, you know, the endgame nickel and diming. It doesn't help really threaten this cut at all. It does, it, it's, it's fine shape, right, to preserve your corner territory, but that's really all it does. So the computer's like, you absolutely need to play this one and find a counterattack as black. If you just rest on your laurels, which are not big laurels, you're not going to win this game. And so conversely, when black played this, I played this. And this would be the move I should play if black plays here. Then this move makes sense. And, it, and, and this, is a, this is a huge point. This is like a 15-point loss for white to play this after black responds here. Um, whereas here, this is actually quite reasonable. And the reason, again, is because there's still a lot of Aji in here. There, this is not the easiest... Um, you know, even if, even if white doesn't have another stone in here, I can threaten this sort of thing. <laughs> Uh, maybe not yet, because <laughs> that doesn't quite work, but <laughs> uh, you can see that if I can play any move against this group to threaten, to make or to make sure it doesn't connect or doesn't have eyes, um, there's points in here that are very soft. <laughs> uh, very, very hard for, for Black to, to deal with. And so this is very bad Aji with one one move over here. I think even a move like this, this is this is threatening for the corner. Um, so Black would feel very timid about playing. I can understand why Black would feel timid about playing a move like this. It just leaves this huge Aji in the corner. Um, but I responded in kind. So in the end, uh, this was actually a good exchange for Black, not for White, which is pretty amazing. Even though it looks like it looks like White fixed, you know, white's biggest problem on this board. This wasn't that big of a problem. Um, just because white has enough stuff that is kind of loose and is not absolutely, I'm, I'm not absolutely married to. All right, over here, black takes this exchange. This, the robot actually surprisingly did not call for this exchange ever. It really never wanted this to be made. Um, so that was dubious timing. Um, and then here with this stuff, uh, this is a mistake I always make in this shape. This is an example. Here's the lesson. Basically, there's a weakness here. And I'm trying to take advantage. I'm trying to get double credit for it, so to speak. Because I want to be able to threaten the Atari on the outside, and I want to be able to threaten the Atari over here. So I'm going to go forward a few more moves. Like, I want to be able to threaten this, and I want to be able to threaten this. And I'm trying to use this weakness twice. And there's a lot of shapes where that's a great idea, where your opponent has a weakness, and you poke at it one way, trying to get your opponent to defend, and then you get to poke at it another way to get your opponent to defend again, and so it's like you get double credit. Except in this case, it doesn't really work that well. Uh, I don't really need to get both of bo both you know, credits here, um, especially when I'm leaving a giant weakness on my own. So a much better move is to do exactly what I did, but just extend. Black really doesn't have time to fix this weakness. Like, is Black's going to feel real bad if, if Black wants to play this move right now. And if Black does anything else, well, this is still basically Sente. And so, in, it, it's, like, I, I still get credit for the weakness, <laughs> I think is what I'm trying to say. And I'm much stronger. I have a lot fewer problems that I had here for the rest of the, uh, the game because this is frightening, right? Now, White's not in trouble. White is still very much ahead in this game. Um, but I could easily imagine... You know, if I make a mistake in here and Black captures these two and gets a strong group through here, this is this is nightmarish for White. <laughs> um, luckily, <laughs> I have enough uh, resources that it's not an issue. Um, this this was Black's biggest mistake in here. This is much more successful for Black if Black plays here, like significantly more successful. Um, again, the robot wants me to go and annoy this group for a while first <laughs> before doing anything else. The robot is very unhappy about my lack of annoyance on black down here. Um, even, even if I can't kill it, right, there's a bunch of sente moves it wants me to take on the outside there and there um, to get to, to fix all those. Whoa! Oh, no! That's not what I wanted. 
How dare you, game. Let's go all the way back. Yeah, so anyway, the lesson here, this key lesson is a shape move for black. You almost never want to make this shape, especially deep in your opponent's territory, tiger's mouth shape that leaves a throw in and Atari. Um, and, and, and of course, right now, the, the a throw in is wrong because it gives, it, it shorts liberties on white's weakest group here on the outside. So this is definitely correct. But, uh, you know, let's compare <laughs> if black played here. If white tries to cut like this, uh, black has some countermeasures that are very interesting. I'm actually not sure what the countermeasures are. <laughs> I should look that up before just guessing randomly because this doesn't actually look so bad. Is there a way to gain liberties? We can get up to three liberties here. Um, it doesn't look like it's enough, but black can play here now. Maybe threaten this one. Maybe take that, and then is this one? Doesn't look like it. Too many liberties. Hmm. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how that works. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can see why this would be scary. <laughs> yeah, well, how does this work? Oh, maybe you don't take this Atari. You just play here. Does that work better? Oh, it's kind of the same. All right, I'll have to think more about that. Anyway, Tiger's Miles are bad. <laughs> this is just easy harassment. Uh, when I draw back here, of course, this is Sente. Um, this move is okay. <laughs> uh, my move, I actually don't need. I was, I was much more scared here. I still have stones on the outside, um, and I wanted to continue to attack this, but I really don't need to. The robot just says, take the stone. Like, you're going to threaten to kill the corner. You don't need to actually do anything else out here. Um, but after here, I play my misclick. This is a my, this is a 20 point loss. It's just 20 points just out the door, basically. So bad. This is still not the best move, but the robot, I think it's only like an eight point loss. So the move I was trying for, the, the, the misclick, let's say cost me 12 points, right? According to the robot or so. So it's really a 12 point loss in according to the robot, but it's really a 20 point loss if I uh, yeah, <laughs> don't have the right move on my radar. <laughs> okay, so we play this out and this is all fine-ish. These moves are basically what the robot predicts. Um, over here, the I'm, I'm trying to get to the point, like there's nothing here for black, black is dead. Um, at this point, black missed an opportunity though. Instead of coming back, black needs to play this one. And this does kind of go to a weird co that looks like that. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I wonder actually if white should throw in here first and then play this, but probably not. Probably not. Yeah, just play here. Because um, if black wants to do that, <laughs> there you go. There's your co. So there was there was something dirty down here for black to find, but did not find it. And once he pulls back, this is very easy for white. Um, even at this point though, right? This still, he had, not, and he had another opportunity right now. Yep. Same thing. Had one more opportunity. Uh, so that's, that's, yep. Just a cool life and death thing. <laughs> um, like this does not kill for black or even threaten a co or anything. Very comfortable for white. All right, through here, definitely the robot did not like that pullback, wanted to pull back here. Basically, the robot looks at the stick and, and the amount of bubbly space around it and says, ah, this is still fine to live. I, sh I don't need to defend that side. And so I, sh I should be defending the weaker side, especially because I can still attack this. This black group is not safe at all. And so I really got very soft in here where I did not... Uh, you know, I, I was just like, I'm just gonna kill all this. I don't really care about anything else that happens this game. My opponent should just resign. That is a weakness in my play. Uh, as I discussed during the game, this move was not right. <laughs> this is, this should just connect here, short the liberties. That's important. Um, this isn't really a huge deal, but it gets a little bit scary. The robot didn't like my move. It actually preferred, I think this one? 
It, 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 I mean, I liked it fine enough. Like, it all, it all kind of does the same thing. Instead of this descend, though, I did want to play this one first. But those are small little details that are not huge. Um, in the robot's mind, this is on the, like I made eye space here, but that's completely unnecessary because I'm going to make enough room for two eyes over here. Um, so this is very redundant. So I shouldn't play it. Um, this move doesn't work for black for reasons that I basically showed you in the game, but he tried. And it comes really close. This is one move away from working. Um, in here, I think, I think the row actually want me to play this one. Um, this doesn't actually work unless I have a stone at D19. Um, and which, in which case I don't, because if I did, then I would, I could just kill it outright. So, um, I should show you this because this does not work. I'm one liberty short from turning it into a co, uh, because black just has to play here, white has to play here, and you can see it's just a, a squish. <laughs> um, ben five can't connect, so not a real co. Uh, and if I play this way, you can just see this is not anything. <laughs> so nothing, nothing there, unfortunately. Um, here, yes, this is very worrisome, but. Again, it's not a not a real problem. <laughs> and then here, these are all just giant point losses. Everyone should just be killing the top left corner, <laughs> uh, and my opponent resigned. So, um, you know, if we look at the AI review, you can see this graph. At this point, it's a fifty point game for for white, assuming black gets to come and live over here. Uh, we're up by fifty, which is pretty impressive considering we started the game, you know, on the board. Uh, you know, we were down by 30 points on the board. All we had was this influence around the outside. And, th you know, this is kind of one of those games where, where I just kind of picked up momentum as throughout the game. You can see where I where I misclicked and, you know, a few other, like, missing of things, especially, like, letting this die. Mistakes happen. But in general, it really didn't matter. This is just a huge white lead the whole part. And black has no potential for anything. Like, there just wasn't enough... Um, things for Black to do in the center of the board because he took all this third line territory away. So, uh, you know, for my opponent, you know, he, he, it, it's like it's like he had a mind to like let's get some outside influence right over here. But after that, everything else he did was just very small and on the sides. And again, even this right side, this is this is a good result for Black, quote unquote. But again, it's still small and on the outside on the edges of the board. And so in go, there's just a balance that's needed. And you could say, well, well, but white's un just as unbalanced. White only has the outside. <laughs> sure, except that uh, my outside, um, there's, there's, some, there's things to do. <laughs> right? As long as there's things to do, the outside is always going to be worth more than the inside. Unless the inside is absolutely massive. So anyway, it was a fun little game. Uh, we had some 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 good lessons, I think, about like this shape point, uh, and again, leaning instead of going balls out, capping attack. Uh, you know, inside versus outside. There's lots lots of nice little little things to to pick up and hopefully incorporate into your own games. Hopefully, you guys are watching these games and just with the mindset of of trying to figure out, oh, where would you play and see how that move turns out. Uh, go. There's a lot of possibilities and there's just so much to explore. You just have to watch and play a lot of Go to get that intuition uh, really settled. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. And maybe I'll even see you at the U.S. Go Congress, because registration is, early bird registration that is, for the maximum discount is coming up on April 30th. So if you're thinking about going to Colorado this summer and want to go play Go for over a week and potentially meet me and lots of other really strong Go players, even lots of players who are way stronger than I am, Come to the U.S. Go Congress in Estes Park, Colorado on July 30th. All right. See you next time.